30 Years of Watchtower Slave, Chapter 13, entitled, Upheld by the Courts. The first subheading is Suspicions Aroused. Now, by this time in the mid-1930s, officials and other groups were catching on to the Jehovah's Witnesses with their enormous sales of Watchtower merchandise. Under the guise of practicing religion, they were no more than a business sales without a license. And so being subjected to this sort of uh, publicity, the Watchtower High Command, of course, they had to counteract this bad publicity. So whenever the witnesses were arrested for selling books without a license, legal action was immediately begun to establish that this was merely preaching by use of printed page instead of spoken word. Kind of reminds us of the testimony card that we talked about in the previous chapter. But this claim to religious freedom as a justification for their practices was repeated again and again despite numerous defeats in court. <clears throat> so it's slowly but surely began to create the impression that Jehovah's Witnesses were being persecuted for practicing their religion and the accusation that they were conducting a racket gradually fell away. <clears throat> and this created widespread sympathy for the so-called underdog. Now many became interested in the witnesses for no other reason than to support these underdogs in their fight. The next subheading is entitled, Religion is a Snare and a Racket. It's amazing how often and successfully how the Watchtower Society can change its tactics to suit the occasion and purpose. The society cleverly throughout the country raised an organizational cry of religion is a snare and a racket. Thus, by causing others to draw away from itself from the charge that it's just a book selling company, they put the blame on basically Christendom. Soon the witnesses were parading up and down the streets with sandwich boards, advertising that slogan Religion is a snare and a racket. You've probably seen many pictures of that. But of course, this didn't sit well. Uh, this gave rise to widespread mob violence. And this forced the police, who previously had been so busy arresting them, to turn around and start protecting them. But finally, the this uh, situation was spreading so rapidly and increasing in intensity so quickly that things were getting out of hand. This was the signal for the society to use the proper legal approach to get favor in court action. They dumped the appeal to religious freedom for the right of freedom of press. The Lavelle versus Griffin court case was the first victory of Jehovah's Witnesses and it certainly wasn't the last. But of course the Watchtower lost no time in giving themselves a pat on the back. You can read in the Watchtower's books, publications, your books since the mid-30s of how they lay claim to miraculous wins in these court battles in the name of Jehovah. The next subheading is entitled Consolidating the Gains. As the witnesses won more and more cases in court, this firmly established the faithful and wise servant class, or as we know it today, the governing body. The Watchtower Society had now reached the pinnacle where it was now oblivious to opposition and criticism both within the organization and outside. So if any Jehovah's Witnesses did not cooperate 100% in receiving these divine truth and instructions, 
from the headquarters. Well, the society would no longer deal with these ones, nor give them anything to do, nor dispense any favors to them. If they wouldn't follow the instructions blindly and wholeheartedly, or even dare to a voice opposition, the society wrote them off, figuring that there would be more trouble than help. But on the other hand, of course, those who were more spiritually minded, or as I like to say, gullible, well, these ones would be given more privileges within the organization. So at this point, the author says that the organization in America was finally reaching a point where they had already reached in Germany 10 years earlier in 1926. This is going to conclude this chapter. Stay tuned for the next. Thank you for taking time to watch and listen to this presentation. Post your comments, 